This is Rui Costa's Merida Reacto team. The first thing that I noticed about the bike is just how aerodynamic the shapes are. In fact, it looks more aero than many time trial bikes did until a few years ago. The saddle is a Pro Logo saddle, and that's their Nargo Evo CPC with the little rubber things on it. The bar tape is also provided by Pro Logo. Handlebars and stem are both FSA, and Costa's gone for FSA's K Wing, so that's flattened top section handlebars. The group set is provided by Shimano for the most part, with the exception of the rotor chain set. Costa runs Jura Ace Di2, and he actually uses the sprint levers in the same place that many of the sprinters do, which you don't see very often on team leaders' bikes. His Jura Ace brakes are the dual mount version, so they give a really solid platform when you need to slam on. The chainset, as I've mentioned, is Rota's 3D Plus chainset, and that's got Rota's very own power meter in there too. And Costa is now one of the few guys who's riding oval chainrings. Many people did a few years ago, but most of them have moved back to round chainrings, so cool to see that. The chainring sizes actually aren't quite standard. He's got a 38 inner, which is one tooth smaller than standard, and a 53 outer, which is the same as most of the other riders running. The cassette is an 11 through to 28, so he's got plenty of room there for steep hills and fast descents. Pedals are Shimano's very popular Jura Ace Model 2, very light, very reliable. The wheels are provided by Fulcrum, and they're the Racing Speed 35 model, so they sit somewhere in between a really aero wheel and a really lightweight climbing wheel, and they're absolutely perfect for medium mountain or even quite hilly days. The Tubular's a Continental Competition Pro only 25mm. Again, Costa and the Lampro team are clearly getting on the trend of moving towards slightly wider tyres for their aerodynamic advantages and for their rolling speed. Although Costa's bike undoubtedly looks like a racing bike, there are a couple of really interesting things that actually have very practical applications. Because the rear brake is nestled down by the bottom bracket, he has a release here for the rear brake, so if he ever needs to change his wheel in a hurry, he can just do it at the handlebars. There's also a couple of bits of grip tape on the seat post to ensure that that never slips down. Really good tip if you ever have trouble with that. Let's take a few vital statistics and measurements. Well, just found out my favourite thing about the bike. The measurements are pretty much exactly mine. The saddle height's about 75 centimetres and the reach is just over 55. The weight of the bike is slightly above the UCI's lower weight limit of 6.8 kilos, but that's probably counterbalanced by the aerodynamic gains that the shape of the frame makes. If you'd like to see our top 10 ways to get aero like a pro, click right there. To see the rest of our pro bike videos, click down there. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to GCN, click on me. How does my hair look? The saddle is provided by Pro Logo, and that is their Nargo. Well, do your research. This is Rui Costa's Merido. This is Rui Costa's Merido. <laughs> ready to rap? Are you, are you recording? In which case, I'm not ready to rap. This week has been a dream. You used to read cycling magazines. GCN's replaced that. We're up on your computer screen, mobile phone, laptop, or tablet, or other device. We're well nice. Subscribe, yo.